Good evening, everyone, or depending on what time it is for you, good afternoon, or for you night owls like to stay up at four in the morning in another country, you should probably be asleep and watch this later. Um, this stream was brought by request. Um, one of my friends needed some help on how to install a new mod pack that I just recently learned about called The Legend of Notch. Um, I really don't know what this is. I, I, I know it's an RPG of sorts. Um, I went over it today and just to make sure I could get it right. And so we'll, um, we'll get going on it. What you're going to need is the Minecraft Vanilla Launcher, the new one. Um, you'll need the two download files. You'll need the, the actual mod pack itself and the patch and you can find that link um, find those downloads at that website and I will go ahead and show you those pages if you just give me a moment um, I'm gonna kinda go slow here, because I know there's people that want to watch this. So let me pull up that web page. Is this still on my... Yep, still on my clipboard. Awesome. Alright, just give me a second, and I'll have that web page up. I know there's a delay on Twitch, and that's going to kind of make it hard to keep up with the chat. Sorry about that. So just bear with it, you know. You know how it goes. Alright, so the web page that you want is going to look like this. Um, say the Legend of Notch Reincarnation. Um, it'll tell you about the, if you go through and look at it, it'll tell you about the world, uh, the different things you can do, the features that it adds, items, or whatever. It's got a whole change log it goes through. Um, but what you're looking for, uh, you want these two links right here. Download the pre-release and download the new patch. Um, the pre-release is about 57, 58 megabytes in size which took me like maybe two minutes to download if that. Um, the patch is very small. Um, I forget how small it is but you'll need that as well. Save those to like your desktop or something. Um, I've already downloaded the things, the two patches. Uh, I see Jake Play MC is in the chat and he's kinda of the one that wanted to watch this so I'm kind of um, stammering for time <laughs> to give him, give him a little bit but if you're following along you can pause this later if you're watching the rebroadcast alright uh, that's the URL right there I've shortened it a bit because it's quite long in the browser um, so what we'll do, the next thing you'll need, um, is the Minecraft Vanilla Launcher, so go ahead and double click it, it'll bring it up, um, create a new profile, and call it whatever, don't call it Telon at this point, cause we're gonna use that name later, um, give this one call this one like Minecraft 151 or just MC 151 just so you know it's the 151 one jar um, make sure that you tell it to use version 1.5.1 1 .1. um, the amount of RAM is up to you doesn't matter at this point, you're just going to use it once to get the jar. That's really all you're going to use it for. So you can save the profile. Well, I guess when you come back to it. Yeah, we'll see. Um, 
don't use the old launcher. I would highly recommend you use the, the new launcher because there's a couple extra steps, but it's not that bad. Um, so, yeah, use the new launcher. That This is the way I'm going to be showing you how to do it. Uh, once you have the new profile created, just click play. It should say ready to download and play Minecraft 151. So we'll let that do its thing. It's not it's not that bad. Just use the new launcher and you'll be alright. Use the new launcher and then use the files that that I have or that you should download. Let me move that up and out of the way a little bit. That was my dryer telling me there's cl clothes to be taken out, but they're not mine. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. So really, once you run it once, you don't really need it again. So quit the game at this point. Um, keep. Well, no. To edit the files, you have to close it. So go ahead and close out the. Um. Okay, you can rewind the stream. That's fine. We'll just follow along and take notes if you want uh, by yourself uh, and then try it again. Uh, once this is done, um, I can call you on Skype and we'll we'll go over it again. Uh, okay, so next thing you want to do is go to your computer and go to your C users. This is all on Windows 7, by the way. XP users, it'll be C documents and settings. Uh, your username... Um, application data for XP I don't remember what it is the whole path but it's easier if you just go percent app data percent that might take you to the right spot to the right place where we are um, and then roaming dot minecraft um, you want the versions and then find your 151 it should be in here okay good there we are so 151. All right, the next thing you want to do is you want to open this uh, JSON file. Uh, let's see, hang on. Do -do 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 -do. Yep. So open the JSON file with either Notepad or uh, Notepad plus plus. I like Notepad plus plus because it it breaks everything out line by line and makes it easier to read. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to untick this. Okay. Um, let me show you the difference between Notepad++ and, and Notepad. Alright, there's there's Notepad++. And then let me open up regular Notepad. Drag it over here to this window. And size it. And throw this in here. That is a bunch of garbage. <laughs> This is nice and clean. Um, looks very code-like. So we're going to use Notepad++. <laughs> yeah, JSON. <laughs> yep, named after me. Alright, so in this JSON file, um, the second line says, quote ID colon uh, 1.5.1 .1 in quotes. So you're just going to highlight the 1.5.1 and rename that in all caps T L O N for the Legend of Notch. That's all you have to do to this file. Click Save or Control S or whatever. Close that. Uh, the next thing you want to do is you go ahead and uh, let me look at it here. Go ahead and rename both of these files to T L O N. So you click on the, the JAR file on your keyboard, hit F2, capital T-L-O-N, for The Legend of Notch. And once again, on the JSON file, go ahead and rename it to capital T-L-O-N. So you have two files named T-L-O-N, and uh, let's see... Do -do 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 Alright. 
So the next thing we can do is right click on. Oh yeah, the other thing you're gonna need is either WinZip or 7-Zip, um, WinRAR, something like that that you can open the jar file with. I recommend Win WinRAR. It's free, sort of. Everybody uses it. Um, probably 90% of the modding community uses. I've seen use WinRAR. That could be wrong. Don't quote me on that, but. I've seen too many people use that, so we're going to go with that. Alright, so after you've right-clicked and opened with Win WinRAR, you'll have a window here. And this is the JAR file. Let's minimize this out of the way for a minute. And go ahead and open the main mod pack, which is that 57, 58 megabyte file. Just double-click it. It should open in whatever respective uh, zip archiving program you have, whether it's 7-zip, WinRAR, WinZip, whatever. And then open up the TLON client 1.1.7 folder, and there will be a bunch of files with a bunch of class files. You're just going to click the... F Ooh, very important, the first thing I missed. Sorry. When you're modding jar files, the first thing you should ever, 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 ever do... Delete meta-inf. If you don't delete that file, and you put these in here, and then you run it, you'll cause all kinds of problems. So, always, always, always delete your meta.inf. You just right-click on it, and choose delete files. Gone. Out of there. It's, it's gone. That's going to save you a lot of headache and a lot of trouble. So... Next thing, you'll just select the first one. Actually, you can just control A to select everything. I like to deselect that top um, item. It's not really an issue, but. And then just drag them, right click, or not right click, left click, drag right on top of your jar file. It's going to copy the files over and it's tracked them into this jar. It's probably going to, if you're using WinTip, it's going to bring up this window. Don't worry about anything here, just click OK. And that added in the main mod files for it. Now at this point, um, you can do the same thing with the patch, but I didn't do that. I followed the instructions that said to run it first and then go back and add these in later. So that's what we'll do. All right. So close uh, tline.jar, and that's ready to go. Uh, go back up one directory. Rename this folder, the 151 folder, to TLON for the Legend of Notch. Um, minimize the window because you'll need it again later. Go ahead and launch Minecraft.exe again. And then we're going to create a new profile. So, new profile, and we're going to name it, this time name it T-L-O-N, or the Legend of Notch, whatever you want to call it, T-L-O-N. The name of the profile doesn't really matter. What does matter is down here in the Use Version section, there should be Release T-L-O-N. That's going to be the, the main mod pack, T-L-O-N. That's the modded jar file. And then set your RAM amounts. 4 gigs should be fine. Click Save Profile. Make sure you've selected TLON. And click Play. Um, I didn't select resilience. What the heck? Okay, let's back out of that. Apparently I didn't have TLON selected. <laughs> Oops. Alright, make sure you have the TLON selected. Click play again. I'll let that launch. Okay, if you've done everything correctly from this point, you should see Minecraft load um, down the bottom corner. Let me make sure it's displaying right. Okay, down the bottom corner, you should see Minecraft 1.2.5 
it went ahead and downgraded the jar file or the Minecraft version.